when it comes to measuring harvest losses, we've got some new state-of-the-art technology. They're called drop pans and they use electromagnets. They're both out of Canada. These electromagnets that hold it under the harvester. We get harvesting, press a button, it drops on the ground and we capture the losses. We can use the state-of-the-art drop trays with, with electromagnets or we can use any tray. What matters is that we're measuring and we need to do this for all of our grain crops because if we don't measure it, we can't manage it. I've just dropped that tray, John. Can you keep an eye on your yield monitor? Right over in the grain at the moment. I've just dropped this tray by pressing a button here which has turned off the electromagnet so it releases the tray from under the harvester and then harvesting over the top catching in this case everything that's coming out of the back of the harvester because this farmer is set up for narrow windrow burning. So the next step is to take everything out of the tray, clean the chaff off, get it down to just the canola seed that's left, we'll weigh that seed and use the app to calculate our losses. The last stage of the process is now to weigh how much canola seed we've caught in here. So we've got the scales here. Okay, well that's 16 grams. Let's do the maths. Well, this shows the importance of good harvester setup. This farmer was operating at around about 100 kilograms per hectare loss. He's now got it down to about 50 kilograms per hectare. So roughly $25 a hectare over 1,200 hectares. $30,000 saved by getting the harvester settings right. Okay, John, yeah, you had 16 grams in that tray, which comes out at about 50 kilos per hectare yield loss. Oh, that sounds good. Thanks, Pete. It's a um, yeah, good result. Happy with that. Getting an idea of our losses is you know, important to know what sort of money we're leaving behind in the paddock and um, allows us to try a few different setups in the header and uh, see if we can keep our tonnes per hour at a reasonable rate while reducing losses to an acceptable level and um, yeah I think we're getting there. The maths can be a little confusing when you're measuring harvest losses. I've created a spreadsheet, a harvest loss calculator, it's on the GRDC website. So look it up there and you can use whatever tray size put it into the spreadsheet and that will help you calculate your harvest losses. So rather than give you a recipe to follow to set up your harvester, what we are suggesting is to use the drop pans, measure the losses accurately, try different settings, one at a time, share those ideas with your mates and work out how to get the best out of these harvesters to minimise loss and maintain capacity as high as we can at that sweet spot where capacity is good but losses are acceptable. So what is acceptable loss? Well, 1% is the internationally accepted figure. We want to be below 1% for most crops, cereal crops. However, canola, often it's in that 2 to 3% range. I think we can do better than that in the long term, but if your canola losses are below 2 to 3%, you've got it about right.